Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Now, look, I know it's late. I know you're all tired. And I think I saw some of you downstairs at the bar. Some of you were under it. So uh, I won't keep you longer than necessary. Right, well, let's, uh, let's get started. The purpose of this presentation is to bring to readers' attention the existence of a new fiction genre called New Fable in order to be able to classify the Velvet Poor of Asquith novels. Now these books need a genre to themselves because although they have elements of these Bizat categories, they're not satisfactorily defined by any of them. Now all fiction is, of course, crossover to some extent, but the Velvet Poor of Asquith novels are spread across so many categories that they border on smeared, inasmuch they require their own. Now the name New Fable comes from it being both new and because its stories unfold in a recognisably modern world. The fable component arises from it containing only cat and dog characters while drawing upon imaginative realism. Now what's, um, what's imaginative realism, I hear you ask? Well, it refers to the innovative storylines the genre's anthropomorphism gives rise to, which unfold in a recognisably realistic story world. So we can, therefore, define New Fable as books containing only cat and dog characters acting like people, which gives rise to ludicrous and antisocial behaviour that wouldn't be credible if they were human. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, that's not new. I'm sorry? That's not new. That's been done before many times. Ah, <laughs> yes, you see, I knew someone would say that, but it hasn't been done like this. Contrasting the ludicrous against normality creates scenarios that are both humorous and innovative. You cannot claim that as original. Uh, uh, well I can. No, 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 you can't. It's been done before. The Duncan Chronicles, Warrior Cats, Silverwing, yes, Gardens yes. of Gohul. You're an idiot. What? Oh, oh, that's, that's unfair. Did you, just, did you just throw your shoe at me? You just threw your shoe at me. I cannot believe you just threw your shoe at me. Right, well, you're not getting it back. And you missed. So who's the idiot now? And look, the point is that if those books have cats and dogs careering around the world, trying to save it from being taken over by baddies while destroying restaurants and shredding taxis and sculpting telephones out of olives in the process, then they too a new fable. Honestly, I thought you'd be pleased. I'm not trying to be a smart ass about this. I'm trying to be helpful. I just want to give some books a home. Honestly, I'm not even being paid for this either. I have to fork out for my own accommodation. And it doesn't even have a bath. Now look, just bear with me, all right? New Fable is anthropomorphic fiction that gives rise to the ludicrous, where eccentricities become the norm and the absurd becomes eccentricity. This gives wonderful opportunities for innovative storylines and, and humour. Yes, thank you. It's unique in that it distinguishes itself from other fantasy by contrasting unconventional behaviour with a conventional world. <coughs> yes, right, thank you. Yeah, remarkably insightful. It's unique also in being an example of polyauthorism. <coughs> oh, look, I've just, I've had enough of you. Will somebody punch him? Somebody punch him in the face. <coughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. That's marvellous. Right, well, now, as I was saying, um, uh, polyauthorism uh, is a concept arising from the assimilation of media in this digital age and that readers will soon expect books to integrate the same. In some ways, for authors to rely on books alone is both old-fashioned and risking obscurity. Books remain at the core, of course, but must be augmented by complementary media to ensure readers have the most immersive experience. So collaboration with producers and musicians and artists is essential for authors to remain not only relevant in today's media saturated environment but at its cutting edge. And it's already happening, there are opportunities. Look at EPUB3 format for example. Uh, oh, um, he's, he's coming round. He's, co he's coming round, he does not look happy. Can somebody punch him? Can you punch him again? Punch him again in the face really, really hard. Right, 
Right. Um, look, um, I'm going to continue because I'm contractually obliged. You, you, you just carry on. Um, the Velvet Corvasse with novels are new fables, defining examples. They, they blend the ch charm of Wind in the Willows with the exotic world of Ian Fleming's Bond. Their humour is dry enough to grate cheese. And its narrative better described as insulting. The erupt in, erupt in espionage, deception and blackmail with, with, with no intention of cleaning up afterwards. Oh, Jesus, and their bubbling, their bubbling cauldron of mystery, adventure and romance is solving with some stuff on the... that, leave that shoot, leave that shoot. of Terry Pratchett's Discworld might like you, Fable. Oh, great, I'm bleeding. No, 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 I'm finishing this. New Fable should exist because the Dubin books deserve to reside somewhere other than a rubbish bin. And as there have been no books written about poetically sensitive cats being forced to save the world, it's about time they're bloody well worth some. And only New Fable can make them credible. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm cut. Yes, it hurts. Actually, I could really do with a cup of tea.